Leo XIV recently praised the work being done by modern scientists in exploring the universe using tools like the James Webb Space Telescope. Thanks to that truly remarkable instrument, for the first time, we are able to peer deeply into the atmosphere of exoplanets where life may be developing and study the nebulae where planetary systems themselves are forming. The Holy Father said the images from the telescope, quote, fill us with wonder and indeed a mysterious joy. Pope Leo made the remarks at the Vatican Observatory in an audience that included students in its summer school. I recently spoke with one of the astronomers at the Vatican Observatory. For more, we turn to Chris Graney, adjunct scholar at the Vatican Observatory. Chris, it's great to be with you. Now, Pope Leo told the Vatican Observatory summer students, quote, surely this must be an exciting time to be an astronomer. Is he right? Oh, yeah, he's definitely right. It's a very exciting time to be uh, an astronomer, and it's an exciting time to be uh, part of the Vatican Observatory because, uh, of course, the, Vatican, the Pope Leo uh, was speaking to the Vatican Observatory Summer School, which is going on all throughout the uh, month of June. Now, that's a really special school, this Vatican Observatory Summer Program, and it's particularly studying the James Webb Space Telescope. Tell us how important is the JWST and what it continues to send back to us? Oh, the, the, the Webb Telescope is, of course, like the, that's the, the major breakthrough of our generation in astronomy. And uh, um, the summer school is focusing on a variety of things that uh, the web uh, studies from uh, the formation of planets and stars to the, the very early universe to life on other worlds. And all, in all of those things, we expect the, the web to, well, the web is changing our view of the universe and to, it will continue to do so. Now, we know Pope Leo XIV was a math major at Villanova. What more do we know about his background in math and science and maybe his connection to the observatory and the, the choice of the name? Well, from uh, for us at the observatory, of course, the name of, of Leo is uh, an exciting choice because Pope Leo XIII is the one who reestablished the Vatican Observatory in its modern form after uh, the Pope lost his uh, territories in the in the late 19th century. And uh, yes, it's it's uh, nice to have a, uh, a mathematically minded Pope. Of course, I point out that uh, Francis uh, also had a, a background in chemistry. Oh, wow, a background in chemistry. Well, and did that affect the way that he, um, ha the connection that he had to the Vatican Observatory? Does that matter, the background of the Holy Fathers? Um, I, I'm, I'm sure it matters somewhat. I, I, I don't think that he came over and, uh, and, and was talking chemistry all the time, however, and, and I don't know that Leo will be over talking, you know, talking about mathematical astronomy. But it is nice, you know, to, to see that our, our leaders uh, have these backgrounds in the sciences and mathematics. Give us your final thoughts on the school and, and the, the many participants that you have, their backgrounds, if they're particularly special in any way. Well, the interesting thing about the Vatican Observatory Summer School that the Pope is addressing is that we take about 25 students from all over the world, and there's no more than two students from any given country, so you have to have a wide variety of countries there. And, you know, uh, the uh, students are from, you know, all the different continents, uh, you know, areas that we would consider, uh, you know, uh, richer countries, poorer countries. Um, there's not a tuition for the school. So, you know, students, uh, there's a group of donors that support the Vatican Observatory that allow these students to come for free. And generally, they really like it. I was just at a conference at the University of Notre Dame where I ran into someone who was an alumna of the Vatican Observatory Summer School, uh, who was at Yale. And she just raved about the summer school and her experience there. Well, we are so grateful for the formation, obviously for the generation, for the generosity of the donors, and mostly that they're fostering the next generation of astronomers with a background from the Holy See. Thank you so much, Chris Graney from the Vatican Observatory. All right, thank you very much.